I'm Manny Aubin, and I am in a 2013 Porsche 911 Carrera, non-S, but it's equipped with the Bonin Performance Hybrid, which is basically a Kerr system. Um, we're gonna take it for a test drive to see what it's like when you add 175 more horsepower to what's already a pretty impressive, I think close to 350 horsepower in a uh, stock Carrera for 2013. It's an interesting uh, option if you want to boost up your performance. And with Chuck, who unfortunately is not in the picture because uh, we forgot to bring the really, really wide angle lens so we could get everyone in the car. So, so Chuck's here, he's gonna help explain what, uh, what we're uh, gonna be feeling here in the car. Uh, but Chuck, with total horsepower, we're talking. It's about, uh, in this configuration, it's about 500 horsepower with 175 contributed by our our boost motor on top of the 330 to 350-ish of the uh, stock gasoline engine. So at full boost and full power out of the gasoline engine, you're at about 500 peak. So uh, nothing to sneeze at. I know uh, 500 uh, yeah. is becoming popular for Porsche on their GT cars, but for a base Carrera, this is a uh, pretty big improvement. So let's take it out for a drive. We're gonna be doing some straight line roads. So you can feel this uh, this extra horsepower and torque. We're gonna to go for seat of the pants here. And That's what counts. Yeah, so here we go. Wow. <laughs> I did not even have time to look at the speedometer on that one. That was, uh, that was so linear too. It was no, I mean, there was no uh, lag at all. It was None. out of the gate, instant power. That's one of the big benefits of the electric motor is that it is absolutely instant throttle response, no lag. Uh, even compared to a, a non-turbo normally aspirated car, there is a perceptible lag between the time you press the gas pedal and the time that the, the gasoline engine responds. But with the electric motor, it is, it's instant. It's about three milliseconds. And we're not, uh, this not even has Sport Plus. It's on regular mode. I had visions of using the paddles to shift, but <laughs> this car does it so quickly and uh, wow, it revs up very fast. So through those two runs, we started off with about 95%, maybe 94%, and it just went down to 87. So that's, right. and of course it recharges itself as uh, we drive, right? Exactly. So. When you're not in it, if the if the battery is not at full charge, it will draw some power from the gasoline engine, or if you're on the brakes, it will do regenerative braking, harvest some of the energy that might have otherwise been lost to heat in the brakes, put that back in the, the battery, and make that available for later acceleration. So, I mean, that's the basic concept of a curse system, and that's exactly what this is. Well, what I've noticed is, uh, once again, unlike a, uh turbocharger there's really no lag at all this comes on so evenly and no, by no surprise when I want power I hit that accelerator and uh, it's instant on power it's uh, yeah when you get a hundred percent throttle it's just uh, comes alive but it just has a nice little tone that you got a motor going an electric motor going but it's uh, Unlike maybe some electric, full electric cars where they've lost that, uh, obviously, the mechanical sound, this still has a uh, the gas motor running. It's just being boosted by, uh, by this uh, electric motor. Well, that was key to uh, what we wanted to achieve with the car. We weren't trying to tear the soul out of it and, and make it a sanitary electric car experience. You know, we, love, we love driving our Porsches love the sound and the feeling of the rev of the motor and that engaging driving experience and what we wanted to do was simply enhance it with more power but still give you that same immersive experience it's exciting and raw yeah this is definitely a uh, very addictive it's easy to get used to <laughs> it's uh wow my, my, my grin is genuine, it's uh, <laughs> wow, it's uh, pretty impressive how, uh, how instant the power. I'm sure Tesla owners may say this is something we've known all along, but to hear the gas engine with it is uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that 
that's uh, even more impressive. I'm Chuck Moreland. I'm the CEO of Vonin. And the reason we're here today is to talk about our new hybrid performance retrofit system for the Porsche cars. So the performance hybrid system basically is an electric motor that is fit to the existing gasoline drivetrain. But when you need that extra boost acceleration, that's what it's there for. So the car behind us is a 2013 991. It's a base model Carrera. And we've done the conversion to this car. The reason we selected this was because we wanted to show how we could take that base car and make it perform on the level of, say, a 991 GT3 car with about 500 horsepower. In fact, that's exactly what we've done. We've added about 175 horsepower to the car at the crankshaft, so it's available in every gear. We replace the flywheel with an electric motor. The electric motor fits between the gasoline engine and the transmission. And it's a very thin and, and lightweight motor. In fact, here it is. It's actually only about two and three quarters of an inch uh, long. And the bulk of that ends up fitting inside of the transmission bell housing. So this side faces the transmission. And this is housed inside of the bell housing. This side faces the gasoline engine. There's a cavity in the case of the engine, which is uh, normally accommodating the flywheel. We've taken advantage of that space to house our motor. The, the rotor of our motor is bolted directly, rigidly, onto the crankshaft. So Any time that the engine is running, so too is our, our motor is turning. And that gives us the ability to draw a little bit of power away from the engine any time it's running and save that, squirrel that energy away, harvest it, if you will, and store it in the batteries that we can then use it later for accelerating the car in a burst of acceleration. Our motor here actually acts as a starter motor for the car. And this motor itself is actually quite light. It weighs 37 pounds, but we're pulling 27 pounds of flywheel out, seven pounds of starter motor, the uh, system, again, it's very lightweight. So the net weight impact is only 120 pounds. The system was designed for a 10% duty cycle, full power uh, discharge 10% of the time. And 90% of the time, it is either recharging uh, and recovering and cooling the system down and preparing for additional bursts of discharge. Um, that can be uh, a full power acceleration for up to 10 seconds continuously. But in practice, it ends up being a series of shorter accelerations. 10 seconds of full power acceleration in this car, the, it, the car is moving very fast. It's about a 500 horsepower car. We are not reflashing the ECU in the car. Uh, we didn't want to have any effect on the uh, smog certification or smog testing results. Um, and so what we are doing is working essentially as a shadow system. We're not sending information over the CAN bus, but rather we're simply reading passively the information that's being provided uh, on, the pan, on the CAN bus. And we are reacting accordingly. So the primary way you interact with the car is you drive it just like a normal car. There's a gas pedal, there's a brake, and you want to go fast, you press the gas, you want to slow down, you press the brake. A seamless experience that's simply more powerful smoother and more capable. But in addition to that, we have integrated a smartphone application which is connected to our system via wirelessly via Bluetooth. So the system is totally programmable and supports different modes of operation. Those modes can be selected through that smartphone user interface. So the system does support both PDK and manual transmissions. And in fact, our, our first development car, this one behind me, is a PDK. Uh, but we also want to support the manual transmission cars. So we've developed a very thin clutch that, that fits, and then we uh, create our own supplemental flywheel, if you will, which acts as the, uh, uh, the front uh, contact for the clutch plate. So our initial development was on the 991 series cars, and that includes the Boxster and the Cayman that are based around the 981s that are uh, built on the 991 platform and the turbos and the GT cars of the same generation. Uh, but we are now embarking on development for earlier cars. And first, we're going to do the air-cooled cars uh, from 65 to 89, and we will support 
all the different engines that were produced during that time frame and uh, the different transaxles. And after that, we're going to go to the mid-year cars, the 996 generations, uh, the 997 generations, and the 986 and 981 cars as well. Um, and looking forward, uh, once we've developed for the Porsche lineup, we're looking to go to other cars as well. With respect to installation, uh, we are doing all of that in-house right now with our own team. This is not a do-it-yourself type kit. Um, it's uh, high voltage uh, and it requires special training and certification to, uh, to safely do the installation. We're in the final stages of the development right now and uh, we expect to be delivering customer cars in the first quarter of 2019. It's been a long road to get where, where we are and the car is performing really well and is, uh, is very fast. It's certainly a uh, great alternative or something, an add-on um, option that people want to look at. It's really, uh, I was fascinated during the presentation about uh, what this was about. So when we had the opportunity uh, to drive it, we said, well, let's Absolutely. take it out and see if the presentation's as good as it is on the road. And it is. <laughs> it's uh, glad you like it. Well, yeah. So if people want to find out more, what's the website address? Uh, www.vonnen.com. That's V O N N E N.com. Vonnen.com. Uh,